If you use funnels to sell your digital products, physical products or membership site, well then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Tavleen from Woo Funnels and I'm really proud and stoked to announce that Funnel Builder 2.0 is out now. Now, if you use Woo Funnels, that's great. You've been waiting for this update. But if you don't, that's okay too, because I will show you what it would really mean to use this WordPress Funnel Builder in its new avatar. So with the Funnel Builder 2.0, we are launching the Canvas mode. The Canvas mode, which is the highlight of this release, lets you visualize your funnels like never before. As opposed to looking at every step and then clicking through to see the data related to it, you can now see your entire funnel visualized on a single interface. You can even see critical data points, for example, the views that each step got, the conversion rate and the revenue it generated. When you click on any of the steps, you can get more insights, which includes the contacts that entered through that funnel, the A-B test. So if there is a split test running on that step, you can see how the variants are performing. We've also revamped the A-B testing experience. So if you'd used the earlier version of Funnel Builder, you would know that you, you needed a separate module or a plugin to run A-B test. But that's not the case anymore. The A-B testing experience is now very well integrated and it is pretty seamless. This means you can set up a split test not only without having to install a separate module, but also from the same interface where you build your funnels, hence making A-B testing a lot more easy to set up and accessible. Not just that, we've enabled site-wide pixel events. With site-wide pixel event tracking, you don't even need to have a funnel up and running. WooFunnels can do the entire pixel tracking for you once you enable it. So all your page view and add to cart event, the purchase events can get tracked for your entire website. There is integration with TikTok, Snapchat, new order bump skins, improved analytics, conversion tracking, and so much more. So Yes, it is one hell of a meaty update. So I'm going to tell you to watch this whole video and at the end of it, do leave a comment. Do hit subscribe so that when we publish more such content, it finds its way to you. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, all right. So we're in the back end now. And uh, if you're familiar with the WooFunnels Funnel Builder, then you know that this is the Steps tab. This is where we have all the steps listed one below the other. So like in this funnel, it's called a simple course funnel. We've got uh, the opt-in step here, which is where we have the opt-in page. Then we've got a sales page followed by the checkout of the product that we uh, sort of promote through the sales page and then there's an order bump on the checkout page followed by a one click upsell and a thank you page so this is what our funnel looks like this is what our sales funnel looks like and of course order bump and one click upsell will help boost the average order value. Now this is the new edition. It's the canvas mode. So let's click on it. So this is the canvas mode where you can see your entire funnel, all the steps one below the other, and even you can see the stats related to every step. So for example, this is the opt-in page and it got 11 views in this case, uh, 10 conversions and then the revenue. Of course, the revenue would be zero in this case because it is an opt-in page and uh, the idea is to only generate leads and capture emails. So that's all this is doing. So is the case for a sales page, which is only educating and pitching the paid program. It is the checkout where uh, the revenue actually gets made, which is what you can see here. So the idea is that only in one glance, you can actually see how much revenue, how much views that uh, you know every page in the funnel got, the conversions and the revenue that it generated for you. You do not have to visit multiple tabs to really get those critical data points. So here followed by the checkout page, as we can see, we have a one click upsell, which is 
uh, a workshop upsell offer there are some rules that we've set here and that's the rule order item contains at least one quantity of so if that's that's a rule that we've just set here so you can see the rules as well like that just by clicking upon it when this upsell offer gets accepted on yes we show them another one on rejection we take them to the thank you page on the acceptance and rejection of this offer here in both the cases we direct them to the thank you page and end the funnel right over there so it's really simple and it's beautifully visualized for you to see all the critical data points at one convenient spot now when you click on uh, a block so let's say we click on opt-in page right here you can see more details so you will be able to see the analytics tab where again you can see um, the views that the step got the conversions the conversion rate and total revenue so these are the contacts that entered the funnel through the opt-in page you can see the name email and the phone if that's what if that's the information that you captured you'll also be able to see the phone number here and further, if there are any A-B tests running on it, on that particular step, you can view the results here. So quite simply, you can see when this A-B test was started and its current status, if it's running or paused. And then you can see both the variants here. If there are more than two variants, you can see all of them here. In this case, each of the two variants uh, is getting 50% of the traffic. So, um, so you can see the results of that uh, of that traffic, the number of views, the conversions, the revenue per visit, the conversion rate, and the revenue generated by that variant. That's it. Hit the cross, and you get back to the canvas mode again. You can click on any of these steps here again. Uh, you can see the analytics, the contacts that came through the checkout page and order bump so this is the order bump on the checkout page you can see the views accepted rejected and the revenue made and finally the a b test so here we do not have an a b test running but of course if you have it running on your step then you will be able to view that as well so before i move on let me show you some of the other nifty features that we have here so when you hit the toggle here you can see the entire funnel visualized with the a b experiments running on the particular step so for example here on opt-in page we have an a b test running so you can see the two split test variants here this is the original this is the variant and you can see the corresponding stats for each of the two variants so yes that's what you could do just by hitting the toggle you can see uh, your funnel your entire funnel visualized along with the ab experiment running on each step Another nifty hack here is to go full screen. It's kind of like a focus mode with the funnel in the full screen format. Speaking about A-B testing, the next update that we have lined up for you is integrated A-B testing experience. Now, prior to this, if you wanted to do A-B testing, if you wanted to split test your funnel, you had to install a separate module. But with Funnel Builder 2.0, that changes. So let's say you want to A-B test this sales page. All you have to do is within the funnel, click on these three dots here and then click on A-B test. Here, as you can see, this is the original variant, which is getting 100% of the traffic. So when you click on add variant, you have two options. You can duplicate from the original or create a new template. So for convenience, we will duplicate from the original. When you do that here, well, there you go. So this is 100%, this is 0%. Of course, you will hit traffic distribution here. And if you click here, it will be balanced and both the variants will get 50% of the traffic. Of course, if you want any change in that, you can do that. Make sure the total is 100 or you can click on this balance icon here and direct 50% of the traffic to each of the two variants. That's it. You can start the A-B test 
and just click on start now the a b test has started and of course the analytics will begin to show up you need to give this test some time and uh, you need to direct more traffic to both of these variants once you do that you will be able to see the numbers getting populated here you will be able to see the results you can of course pause any time and here is the option to declare as a winner so if uh, one of the two variants is doing extremely well in terms of the revenue being generated from it or in terms of the conversion rate go ahead and declare them as a winner and that's how you do it that's it so automatically the variance that you declare as the winner will get 100% of the traffic it's as simple as that so that's it as you saw we've created a very seamless and integrated a b testing experience uh, this makes split testing very very accessible and very easy to set up so uh, you can do it even if you have no prior knowledge of a b testing now if you're already using funnel builder and have the additional a b testing module installed and activated on your site you can go ahead and deactivate it because you do not need it anymore moving on the next thing that we are truly excited about is store-wide pixel event so what we've done here is so let's go to facebook pixel here we've enabled site-wide events which basically means that earlier we only had page wise events so there were events for the pages in the funnel but with site wide events even if you do not have a funnel running on your store you would still be able to track events that happen site wide for example adding to cart making a purchase viewing a page any page on your site and so on and like I said, even if you do not have a funnel running, that's fine too. WooFunnels will do the tracking for you because with site-wide events, well, we can track all events which are beyond the funnels that you build. So to do that, all you have to do is check this box, which is enable page view event. Use this option to fire page view event on all the site pages and enable add to cart event. Use this option to fire add to cart event when customer adds items to their cart. And that's it. You are good to go. Be sure to save the changes before you move on. The next uh, update that we have here, as you can notice, is addition of TikTok and Snapchat related pixel events. So all you've got to do is enter your pixel ID here for TikTok as well as for Snapchat and you can track all the events related to those two social media channels. So you're, you can enable site-wide events, obviously, um, then order bump related events, checkout events, purchase events and so on. So this is for TikTok. Similarly, for Snapchat, we have similar events. So once you have checked the boxes, be sure to save the changes. And that's it. We've integrated these two because we did get a lot of requests from our users who wanted TikTok and Snapchat to be part of our Pixel integration. So there we go. And the next you know, amazing thing that I want to share with you is that we have overall enhanced the events that you can track. You know, if you've been using the earlier version of Funnel Builder, you will see a lot of new events here. Yes. So, for example, in opt-in page, you've got opt-in page view event. You've got lead event, which is when a lead successfully signs up and you capture their email. You can enable this event to get, to get fired. And then within order bump, you've got add to cart event, which is when a user checks the box uh, to add an order bump to their order to their cart and then you've got enable order bump conversion event this event gets fired when the user successfully makes a purchase with the order bump item or items in their order all right so moving on i'm really proud to share with you that in the design section of order bump you will see some new skins So when you click here, choose skin, you will be able to see some new skins that we've added. And well, you can select any of these that you want. Simply uh, check this box and then import it. So these are some new skins that we've added. 
um, that's how you import it and you can use them for your order bumps also when you go to edit style you will see that you get a full screen view you can edit the colors of this order bump section uh, enable or disable the arrow that shows and well yeah change various colors the add, add border to the product image increase the padding margin width and so on another brilliant feature that we have here um, is order bump replace product So what you can do is that you can set the behavior here. One option is that when a user checks on the box to add order bump to their cart, well, it simply gets added. So it becomes the extra item, the additional item. That's when you hit this radio button here. But the other option is replace order bump with a cart item. So if they have multiple items in their cart, you can select the specific product that you'd like to get up, uh, sort of replaced with the order bump item. This works in case of upgrades. So this is an example of a digital product. But just to give you an example of a physical product, let's assume that you're selling a shaving cream and you would like to offer a shaving kit as an upgrade. So you can enter the product name, which is shaving cream. And well, this could be the shaving kit. So when they check the box to accept the product, the cream will get replaced by the kit. Let me show you this behavior. Uh, on the actual checkout page so well this is where we have a six month sub subscription added to the cart already that's 699 monthly and when somebody adds the 12 month subscription offer simply by adding it this one would get replaced there you go so this has replaced the original offer so that's the behavior of this order bump Yep, so that's how you can remove it. And if you add it, it replaces. The next important part of the update is improved analytics. So as you can see, we've added order bumps, we've added upsells, and we've added average order value. So you can track these metrics as well from the analytics tab right over here. These weren't there before, but we've obviously made it more robust now and more detailed so that you can look at how your funnel is actually performing in one glance. The average order value of a funnel is, of course, a great metric because it really allows you to look at how the AOV boosters of your funnel are actually doing. And you can compare one funnel with the other based on this single metric alone. The final part of this Funnel Builder 2.0 update is addition of conversion tracking. So against any order that you pick, you can track the conversion. So you can see the funnel name, which is from where they got converted, the funnel that they entered and uh, accepted the offers and so on. You can see their first interaction with your product conversion time which is uh, two minutes in this case it's the time when they first landed on the first page on your in your funnel and then um, the time the total time it took them to convert and finally land on the thank you page this is the utm source uh, you know which is uh, facebook in this case uh, whatever the source is that will be specified here so you can track where they actually came from uh, the medium, like in this case, it was a blog post, the referrer, so you can see the website name, the device from which they converted, again, a really good uh, uh, data point here, which gives you a great insight into your customer. So you can see whether it was uh, mobile or desktop and finally the browser. So this is conversion tracking. When you click on the funnel, you can view which funnel it was and so on. So against every order, you will be able to see this addition of uh, the conversion tracking metric uh, and it gives you critical data points about your orders. So that was it. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. We looked at the major updates of Funnel Builder 2.0. Uh, and we went into detail of every update. I really hope that you enjoyed learning about it. Uh, if you don't still have Funnel Builder by Woo Funnels, well, why don't you go ahead and click on the link in the description box below and uh, get your Funnel Builder. It allows you to build highly profitable funnels for selling your physical products digital products memberships and so on if you have any question ask away in the comment box below and subscribe to the channel
Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.